But playing through the main game is very simple, uh, to the point. Uh, you actually mentioned this to me early this week, and I 100% agree with you, is there is little more little motivation to use the gambits comparatively. Like, mm-hmm. I have my healer on, like, gambits to set, like, immediately get rid of a certain status effects and heal under certain conditions, but I've not had to go beyond that. Um, I set a few techniques to certain characters, but I've not had to change the gambit system over in boss battles to uh, turn the tides in my favor. I rarely have to do that through the main yeah. story. Yeah, you know, and that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about the original was that this battle system felt very, very unique to other games that I had played at the time because, you know, you could create these intricate gambit setups, and a lot of times that would make or break a battle is just how well uh, you formulated, you know, a battle for a boss. And like he said, like, okay, yeah, if you get to some of the end game bosses, those are going to be challenging regardless, even if they did reduce some of the HP off those a little bit, but, um, they're still going to be really, really challenging. But, uh, yeah, I mean, through the first half of the game is just, uh, <laughs> there's no comparison. Um, I'm actually going to pull up a little window here that kind of will briefly touch this, but it's going to show, uh, basically what we're talking about here uh, to people that have not picked up the Zodiac Age. Um, so essentially, first off, let me see if I can pull this up. I don't know if you all can see this, but um, right now I have on the screen an example of uh, something from the Zodiac Age, the license board for one of the jobs. But uh, I actually saved from another website Um it has all the like license board points or whatever license board squares from the original. And we're not going to go through all those cause that's, it's several hundred there, but specifically on that, there are five license board points on there or squares for the entire board. And collectively it equals 1000 HP. Right. And uh, I think before in this court, I thought there was like 400 in total, but now that I'm looking at it, it's actually more like 300. So I was a little off with that, but um, there's 1000 HP in total. You can get on the entire board in the original. And if you go back here to uh, the Zodiac gauge for some of these jobs and you get two jobs in this version, for example, here's the foe breaker, which is probably the most obscene one. I mean, you start right off here at bat where it says battle command and right away, you see HP 30, 70, 110, 150, 190, 230, 270, 350, 310. And then on the other side, you have 390. Uh, you have uh, another one here somewhere. But anyways, it equals an extra 2,100 HP. Same thing for the knight. is just the knight's ridiculous. Right here, you start battle command. Right off the gate, you have a 70, 110, 190, 30, 150 a 230. I mean, in the original, there was five HP upgrades and it took you a long time to find most of them. I think they give you like one pretty close, but outside of that, it was more like a bonus. I mean, even if you go to something like Black Mage, you're going to have to wait a little longer to get some of these HP upgrades. But I mean, uh, you know, you still got a 390, a 70, uh, a 270, I mean, a 230, a 190, a 310. I mean, and it still equals like 1600 HP. And you got to think, too, that this is only about 100 squares, so you're getting to them these HP upgrades a lot faster than the original. And then you get a second job on top of that. So even if you did choose Black Mage, which 1,600 HP versus 1,000 HP of the original, uh, you're going to get another job on top of that. And it's just going to – you have so much HP that it comes down to the point where, you know, it's not really that important – to, a, to an extent, what you put for your gambit setup. Because, I mean, when you have 6,000 HP, I mean, the, and, and the boss is doing, you know, 300 damage, uh, you can you can be a little, you know, freer with your gambit setup and be a little simpler. Um, you know, so that is a frustration for me. Go ahead. You know, I'm okay with the game being here, but uh-huh. the problem is it went from, like, you could say that, like, the original 12 was hard mode and they just bumped it down to very, very easy mode. 
it's um, right right when you start getting into the meat of the license board is when everything just like uh, you just get all these upgrades right from the beginning. You can get a ton of battle uh, potency upgrades, magic potency upgrades. Um, like you said, with a foe breaker, you can just go straight down that line and just start being a powerhouse and like a, and a tank on top of that. It's mm -hmm. which would be okay if they didn't feel the need to ease up the enemies also on top of it. I mean, the game would have fixed itself if you just if you didn't mess with the enemies and you did that. It's yeah. like, okay, it's easier now, but um the difficulty of the monsters are still the same. You still gotta be on your toes, um, that type of deal, but that's not even really the case anymore. I remember Bellius being hard. Yeah. And my characters just wiped the floor with him. No, no problem at all. Like I did one gambit to set to get handkerchiefs out mm -hmm. uh, when he does oil. I mean, they all do that. I purchased <laughs> plenty because I kill enemies so quickly because I use like two X or four X mode if I want to get some gill and uh, stuff like that. And I remember the gill exploits. <laughs> In this game, not exploits as much as I just know how to chain the right mobs from my previous experiences. But uh, God, the game is the main story is so easy. But I mean, veterans of the game will probably get the most enjoyment out of the end game content. Which, when I tried some of it in the PS4 version, it was still offering a fair challenge. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's the biggest thing is that they made, they rebalanced the game to be a little bit easier. And it sounds like, it feels like to me is that even though there is that challenge later in the game, like they kind of rebalanced it. And I, I don't want to say a lazy way because usually they don't do this much uh, altering with these remasters, but uh, it sounds like, you know, they had so many different jobs that you could choose from they they bounced it towards like well what if everybody picked you know a whole team of time mage and white mages you don't want the game to be too hard right so it seems like they bounced it for like the weakest possible setup and then if you choose anything at all like uh if you have any knights on your party or you have a foe breaker on your party like you're just gonna wreck it and the idea that uh you know once you choose a second job on top of that it's just absurdly easy uh, until you get towards the end of the game. Um, so uh, that is a little bit baffling. I mean, uh, on top of that, too, I think another area they kind of messed up with the the balancing was, you know, they created these license boards for these specific jobs, and there's less license board squares you know, than the original huge license board and they wanted to last a significant portion of the game, but they didn't want to have to like recreate or create brand new animations for all these jobs uh, because that would just take too much time and money. And, you know, they would almost have to create a whole, whole another layer to the game to have like all these new spells for the black mage. And that would make you uh, be able to last the entire game with a, license board like that uh they it feels like to me they just padded it with with things that will not require animation so things like mp upgrades hp upgrades uh stat stat upgrades um and you know in the original when you got these upgrades they were more like a bonus like woo, uh, but you, it wasn't required so in addition to these upgrades you you, you know you're leveling up and uh so that's why we we're kind of talking about at the beginning uh, why it was kind of disappointing that the game doesn't offer the hard mode, which at least doesn't let you level up. You just get all these HP upgrades, but you're not you're not leveling up your character and uh, you know getting all the, all this extra HP on top of that from leveling up. So uh, you know, and they they did other things like uh, they altered the treasure chest respawn rate. So before it was you had to move three screens away before the treasure chest would respawn. Well, now it's only one screen. So, I mean, even very early in the game, I looked at my inventory. I had not bought a single potion. And, uh, you know, I was only a few hours in the game and I had like 45 potions just from like all these treasure chests of just constantly just giving me all this free stuff. Um, so, I mean, if you want to play the game for uh, a story mode, you know, kind of breeze through that way, I think this is a very good route to go. And, you know, it can be a little fun if you want to try to challenge yourself, maybe restrict yourself to one job or maybe uh, come up with a purely magic based 
team and that might be kind of interesting kind of get that challenge that way or just plow through the game get the hard mode and then that way you can kind of enjoy the game in a new way live and die by the license board or maybe do some of the bonus content like the trial mode which i haven't really messed with too much but eric i think you were telling me at least on the ps4 version you gave the trial mode a good a good run through right i didn't reach the top (laughs) Yeah, I, from what I understand, it's pretty difficult to get through the whole thing. So I think that's kind of why uh, they put that on there for some of the veteran players like you and me that played the original and enjoyed it. We can go back and play the trial mode, which is essentially uh, a series of battles where you have to change your gambit setup to be able to get through it. So uh, it's it's not like you can just leave it on a basic gambit setup to get through the game. So it's kind of frustrating to me because I enjoyed the original so much not to have the ability to play that game. We still haven't gotten that game remastered, but uh, you know, I mean, if you want to revisit the story, it looks great. gives you all this different uh, music options. You can play the game with the Japanese audio, which is kind of a trip to play it like that. Although I do really like the voice acting in 12. So I really don't prefer the Japanese one in this one, even though the lip sync is a little bit better with the Japanese audio. I've noticed, uh, oh, yeah. but the voice acting in this game is- incredible yeah in my opinion i wouldn't change it ever i mean i i rarely ever change from english dub anyways so um yeah you know it's still as good as ever 